Okay guys, so this is the Two Arrows California Bowie from Zach. He's on Bushcraft USA. If you guys are interested in this knife, be sure to check out his thread on Bushcraft USA. So this is the California Bowie. It has a drop point there. Or it's not a drop point, this is a clip point, I'm sorry. The uh, spine is an eighth of an inch thick. The steel is 80 CRV2 and people say that it's very similar to 5160 with better edge retention. So we have a Scandi grind with a micro bevel. It comes super sharp. Uh, I asked Zach why did he choose ADCR V2 and he said that he perfected the heat treat and as a testament to it, he splits a penny or he batons a penny in half with every knife that he sells. So he, he tested your edge and your steel and he mails the penny to you um, obviously the the edge is perfectly um, sharp and unharmed. This has brown canvas micarta. Let me try to get the focus better. Nicely contoured, hollow brass pins. It feels really great in hand. Very very comfortable. To me this is an ideal bushcrafter and small survival knife because it's it's broad it's not like a mora it's full tang i like the the clip point in case i ever needed to to pierce anything the handle feels really really good in hand it's just for me this is a, a weird um term or uh, classification but i would call it a a bushcraft edc it's small enough to to fit in your pocket um, when you wear it on your belt, it's not going to weigh you down. The edge is just enough, just enough. You could baton with this, no problems whatsoever. So it's everything that you need and not much, and nothing that you don't, if that makes sense. It's not superfluous. Some knives I find are over-designed. But yeah, this is just, just perfect. It's a great EDC <laughs> bushcrafter. It's a, it's a great EDC. Up first in our bushcraft knife test will be the one stick fire and I personally think the one stick fire is an excellent test for a bushcraft knife because you're going to need a knife that can baton, you're going to need a knife that can break down and process wood into really smaller pieces. Um, the blade will need to feather stick and then lastly it'll need a sharp 90 degree um, spine to spark a ferrule rod. This knife is full tang. Uh, the steel 5160, well, it's 80 CRV2, and that's very similar to um, 5160, which is a spring steel. So you know it's going to be durable. Um, you're not going to have any issues with it batoning. I think this knife batons really well because it's rather broad, unlike a Mora. The, a couple of taps, and you're really deep into the wood, and it'll help baton. At three and a half inches, I think it's it's a great length. It's uh, just enough to baton and process wood. And here I'm I'm doing feather sticks here, and it feathers like a dream. We're getting some pretty good curls here. Zach put on an awesome edge. It's it's very sharp and and uh, after you're done using it, uh, all you need to do is drop it, and it'll get back to its razor sharp edge. We have our lead size, our pencil sized, our marker sized, and the eventual fuel. So 
now I'm putting on the pencil size. Once that starts burning, I'm putting on the marker size. So now we're putting on the fuel size. This is my hat full of feathers here. For those of you who are interested, this is the uh, Outback Trading Company's grizzly hat. We have some pretty decent curls in here. Lots and lots of feathers. Some of them are pretty good. Now we're going to do our uh, Morris Kochansky tri-stick. And right now I'm doing the uh, the blunt end. You kind of want it rounded off like this if you're doing if you're making a tent peg so that when you're pounding on this end it'll it'll mushroom out and it won't split. Now I'm doing the pot hook notch. You start with an X and then you start reducing or removing the, uh, the wood. I found that the clip point on, on this knife allowed me to control the tip. I had a lot of tip control, which made these cuts rather easy. Super sharp. Right there the tip control. Up next is the square notch or the uh, 90 degree planes as it's sometimes referred to. I found this tri-stick really relaxing to make, very therapeutic. If you guys just want to hang out and just relax, I would definitely recommend attempting a tri-stick. I think this notch was the uh, the funnest for me to, uh, to do, because it's probably the easiest one. The latch notch and the square notch are both used in the figure four uh, deadfall trap. So they're very useful notches to, to use to practice and, and perfect. I'm still trying to perfect them. I goofed up a little bit on the saddle notch. I should have used the straight um, edge instead of the the top there with the belly. That gave me a uneven um, cut. So here's my version of Morse Kochansky's tri-stick. This is abbreviated. It's, it's a lot 
uh, simpler than his tri-stick. His tri-stick has many more notches. And eventually I want to do the entire official tri-stick, but for now I'm focusing on the notches that I use most commonly. A lot of these notches are used for the figure four um, deadfall trap, like I said, and the pot hook uh, notch is very useful and the blunt tip and also the sharp point at the end, that's for uh, tent pegs. So some very useful stuff. I definitely would recommend you guys giving it a try. And the California Bowie did a great job, I thought, of cutting all these notches. After completing these three different bushcraft tests, I think this knife is an excellent choice for a bushcrafter. It's going to be my main companion in the woods. And up next in another video, I'll be making a bow drill kit with it. And I think with the uh, the clip point tip there, I think it'll do a great job at creating the, uh, the pivot. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but I purchased this from Bushcraft USA and I'll include links down below if you guys are interested. I'll link his Instagram and his Bushcraft USA profile. This is another model from Zach that I really, really love. It's the Bush Tool and it's kind of like a mini Sukum. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it, it's a knife that was inspired by Morris Kochansky and made by uh, Rod Garcia. This is his Puko knife here. It looks like an awesome wood carver and, and bushcraft knife. He makes all of his own sheaths as well. He makes kydex and uh, leather. So these are some of his other designs. You have the survival tool on the left, and then you have the California Bowie. You have the bush tool in different types of grinds. There's a Scandi, and I see some flat grind. There's a traditional model, and then the chaparral, which I I really like as well on the right side there. On the bottom there is his latest model. It's called the Sage and he is a, a new knife maker, but he has a lot of different cool knife patterns. I have to say, I like his style a lot. So here's a special treat. I have a video of Zach doing some torture tests on the ADCRV2. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty amazing steel. It's pretty resilient. It's amazing how much force it can take without breaking. So guys, if you guys have any questions about this knife, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll answer them all. And uh, if you're inter interested in this knife, go ahead and hit up Zach. And for those of you who have watched all the way to the end, this is probably one of my longest videos, but for all of you guys who have listened and watched to this point, I have a announcement for a giveaway. This is giveaway is going to be super, super simple, super easy. Um, the winner will be picked in my very next video. So the other day, someone mentioned that they were on the notification squad and I was really surprised. I was shocked and I was so pumped up that someone actually signed up to be notified for my videos that I, I got inspired to do a giveaway. So on in my next video, I'm not going to tell you guys when I'm going to upload it. It might be a couple of days, but sign up for the notifications. And the first person who leaves a comment in the video saying notification squad will win a Ganzo folding knife. Okay, guys. So super easy. Just sign up for the notif notification squad. The very first person to comment notification squad gets a Ganzo knife. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful or useful in, in any way, please consider giving me a sub and a like. My videos are not monetized, so you shouldn't be seeing any ads whatsoever. All right, guys, so enjoy the rest of this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.